My name is Jacob Chikrin, and you're watching The Road. In the first season of this series, we watch the preparation and transformation of eight highly skilled top prospects on their way towards being drafted by an NHL team. Each player's journey seemed to culminate in Buffalo, New York at the NHL Draft, a climax that was really just the beginning. This is The Road. The draft determines the different directions that many players' lives will take, and a lot of hopes and dreams hang on the fate of selections made by each NHL team. So there's a lot of emotions on draft day. It's a roller coaster for the players. You know, there's obviously a, a lot of drama, a lot of anxiety, but then when you get drafted, it's uh, exhilarating uh, for the player, and I think the agent feels some of that as well. You're obviously working all year towards the draft as a player, and you want to find out where you're going to end up you know, to start your career and now under the CBA, uh, they have your rights for at least seven years unless you get traded and so it's, a, it's an important moment. Each player has a unique story about their draft experience, almost as unique as the paths it took for them to get there. I think it was just a dream come true and I've always wanted to get drafted to NHL and now I had that experience and it was just an amazing feeling to hear your, your name called on the, on the stand, so it was quite amazing. I think it was a special day for sure, not only for me, but my family. Uh, you know, they did a lot to help me get there, and you know, it was kind of a relief almost after the year with everything that went on and, and uh, you know, where I started from and then you know, all the things that I got to do over the year. So you know, it was definitely fun to be there with some of my friends too and, and hear their names called as well. I think that's uh, every kid's dream to hear their name called and obviously it was a lot of work put up to that and, and the whole draft year, uh, really busy, the whole process. and. It was, uh, you know, it was definitely a relief for it to, to be all over and, you know, again, just a dream come true and whenever you hear your name called. With respect to Logan getting drafted 11th overall, I was happy for Logan. That's a, that's a really good spot. Um, quite an accomplishment to go that early. I went 25 picks higher than my dad, so it was, uh, I definitely let him hear about that because he told me if I went after him, he, was gonna, he wasn't going to let me live it down. So um, every time I see him and, and we, we just talk about uh, the whole experience, I definitely, you know, give him a few shots. That was definitely a longer day than probably I had expected. I don't know what I'd call it exactly, probably a little stressful sitting in those seats waiting. But, you know, I tried to do my best to prepare for that the night before. My roommate was Logan Brown and, you know, we were kind of thinking of all the possible scenarios just to kind of be prepared for whatever would happen. And, um, you know, Arizona luckily was a spot I really, a destination that would have been great for me. So. You know, I was sitting there, pick 15 went by and 16 was coming up and right after Boston took McAvoy, I looked down at Arizona's table for whatever reason and right when I looked down, the assistant general manager looked up at me and gave me a wink and you know, I figured something was in the works and sure enough, uh, they got pick 16 from Detroit and took me and I was leaning over talking to my parents saying how it could be possible I'm going to end up in Arizona. And, you know, they saw, I saw them take out the jersey at the table there and I was thrilled once I heard my name called. And once it happened, I, you know, nothing else really mattered to me. I was just looking forward to getting to Arizona from that point on and, and working towards making that team. There is no better vote of confidence than an NHL team trading up at the draft in order to acquire a specific talent, something a few of these players were able to experience firsthand. I think whenever uh, a team trades up, it you know it shows how much that they wanted you. You know it makes me feel really wanted in the organization, and it is a dream come true. It's pretty cool to know that you know they really wanted me, and you know now it's time to, to go to work and show them and show the fans in Winnipeg that um, you know it was a good move to, to trade a pick and to move up to get me. At the end of the day, I really want to go to a team that wanted me and that believed in and what I could do and what I could bring to the table. And when a team trades up to draft you, I think that's that's the biggest indicator that, that they want you. So that really meant a lot to me and it made me that much more excited to go there. The hype surrounding Patrick Laine skyrocketed once he was selected second overall by the Winnipeg Jets, a team already possessing the right building blocks for a bright future. 
Fans in Manitoba believe he is a generational talent and the impact player they need to make their team an immediate threat in the Central Division. With his first season on the horizon, Line remains both humble and confident. I think I haven't changed so much. I think I'm the same person as before the drafts and now just I have an NHL team and I think that's the biggest difference. Prepare that I'm coming. With their draft year in the rearview mirror, these top prospects will begin to prepare for the uncertainty of what the next season will bring. For some, the light at the end of the tunnel is closer than they realized. This is The Road.